Today I'm going to be going over why I use the Sony ZV-1 to vlog. Just under a year ago I made a video talking about why I use the Galaxy S21 to vlog and that was before I got the ZV-1. That was a pretty good video but in the video I was talking about how I had plans to get a proper vlog camera at some point. But almost a year later I've had this camera for, I've had this camera for also almost a year and I've loved every minute of it. So in this video I'm going to be going over some pros, some cons, and some other different details that hopefully you'll find helpful. The first thing I want to talk about is that that this camera shoots 4K. Basically all cameras do at this point, but this shoots 4K on default out of the box. I think it's 4K and I wanna say 30 frames per second. I'm not 100% certain on that one. One thing I love about this camera compared to the phone is actually the colors are, to me, I love the colors. I've shot with a Sony camera, this one, and I've shot with a Canon. I've shot with a couple different Canon cameras and by far above those two, I think the Sony colors are really, really nice. They're nice and saturated and they look clear and they, they look true to life, honestly. Another thing I enjoy about this this camera is that it's actually really really small like it's probably two and a half inches by four and a half inches like it's it's real nice and small really compact fits in your pocket it, if I take it anywhere that I don't want to have the gorilla pod attached to it or the external mic attached to it I just fold it up put it in my pocket I can just quick whip it out record something get a little footage and then put it back in my pocket real quick for that it's it's really nice it's really small compact easy to hold it has that little attachment where you can thread like a lanyard or a handle onto it or like a strap or something that way you could wear it on your wrist or wear it around your neck or whatever but for my, the way I use it for vlogging usually just have it in my pocket or on the gorilla pod and to kind of go along with how small it is and compact it is it's actually extremely easy to use whenever I first got this thing I legit just took it out of the box charge the bat I mean no I didn't even have to charge the battery now that I'm thinking about it I just took it out of the box put the SD card in turned it on started recording and it was going it has a few different default settings that you know over the course of time using it I adjusted some settings and kind of found my preference as to how I like to use the camera and the settings I like to use on it but if you're looking for something like if you're on the in a hurry and you're at Best Buy or something and you're trying to swipe up a camera real quick and just like bro I need this out the box I need to use it boom bam it it's there it's able to do that you can whip it out of the box no complicated setup click record and you're good. This next point kind of sort of goes along with how small and compact it is. It's really lightweight. I use the Joby GorillaPod 3K Pro Kit as well as the Rode Video Micro. So that adds a little bit of weight. Actually, the GorillaPod Pro is like a pound just by itself, a pound or two by itself because it's like mostly aluminum. Um, so it weighs a little bit, nothing crazy, but a little bit. But the camera by itself, like it's pretty light. I would say, honestly, it's awful close to just my smartphone, honestly, with the case on and everything. Like, it's awful close to the same way. And there's one more pro that I'm is the reason I bought the camera, essentially, but I'm going to wait to tell you that one until after we go through the cons. So I don't have as many cons on here. Truthfully, it's just a really, really good camera. I have a lot of biases towards this camera because I use it all the time and I absolutely love it. Surely I could find something I like better, but I don't want to because I'm cheap. The first con on the list is the zoom. Now, it has a halfway decent zoom, but like... Let me just show you. That's as far as it goes. So, it'd be kind of nice if it could zoom in farther, but if I'm looking at it from a realistic standpoint, I don't need to zoom in much farther than that. So, obviously, if you're using it for something else, if you're trying to get a farther zoom, you're going to be out of luck. I consider the zoom to be a con because it doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't feel like it has enough range. It, feel like it doesn't feel like it zooms in far enough. And to my next point, the default setting is actually really cropped in. Out the box, you're not going to get this wide shot that I have right now. Because what I've actually done, I've actually turned on the product showcase mode. So instead of being focused on my face, it focuses on whatever is in front. My hand is closer to the lens than my face, so it's going to focus on my hand. Take that away, back to my face. That is something that I've personally had to make, pri had to prioritize. Do I, would I rather it always focus on my face or would I rather have a wider angle? But sometimes the focus goes weird because it does happen. I'll be talking like this with my hands like I do a lot and it'll focus on my hand instead of my face. I don't particularly hate that. Honestly, some people may have different preferences, but I'm okay with that because I would rather sacrifice that for the wider shot because the wider shot it's just more information you can fit into one frame. And also, I don't want to have to hold it out super duper far just to get a decent angle. And the final con that I have, I have another con, maybe? It's more just another point. But my final con is the batteries. The type of battery that this camera uses is called an NPBX1. It's a lithium ion battery. And I have three of them. However, I'm not going to say they don't last very long because they actually last a decent amount compared to other cameras. My problem with them is, as far as I've found, as far as I've researched, I don't think, I don't think that this battery has a compatible battery charger. So 
I've I've gone to Best Buy. I've looked online. I've done all these different research. I have not found a battery charger that you can plug into the wall and put multiple batteries in. I have not found one that's compatible with this battery, which is really lame because if you want more than one, which most people do, if you want more than one battery to cycle out your batteries, at the end of the cycle, you're gonna have to charge them all up one at a time. So like what I do, I vlog four days a week. So I'll go through three batteries in four days. And at the end of the four days, I will take all the batteries individually, one at a time, put them in the camera, plug the camera in and charge it. one battery at a time. And I hate doing that. I absolutely hate doing that. I mean, it's, I get them charged, cool. But I wish I had a charger, that way I could charge two batteries at a time. Have one in the camera, two charging, and then they're always charged. I could take for granted that they're charged because they're always constantly being charged. The final, I consider this a con, but it could be, it's just a point, really. The price, when I, I'm trying to remember. So the price for the Sony ZV-1 right now is about $750. I consider that a con because that's expensive, but also it's a good camera. And I personally believe it was worth every penny. I also got mine open box, so it was like $550. I basically saved $200 because somebody had bought it and was like eh then took it right back to the store so that's why i consider it a con because it, it's a little expensive the final point of the video i saved one pro for the end you know youtube retention that kind of stuff the reason i bought this camera in the first place this was like this was like the thing that pushed me over the edge was the audio and I, I like i said i use an external mic now i use the rode video micro but out the box the onboard microphone i think is really really good quality and it comes with this little windscreen that's kind of got smushed, but the onboard microphone I think is tremendous as far as onboard microphones go. That was one of the big reasons I switched from my phone to the vlog camera so soon because I made the video and then like I made the video about why I vlog with my phone instead of a camera and then like a month later I got the camera um, because the audio on the phone is just so poor and the camera audio again without even an external microphone it's like leaps and bounds better than the phone. So overall I absolutely love this camera. I use it every day and it's the best purchase I've ever made. Like in my entire life, this is probably the best thing I've ever purchased because it has given me so much. It's just it's just a really good camera and it's easy to use. I told you all the things, you watched the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys again next time.